Hi guys, Elmington here, how you all doing? Um, back with another video for you. It's been a little while since I've put a video up. Um, so I'm gonna... I got a new guitar recently. got a Fender Telecaster Deluxe Pro 2. American Pro 2 Deluxe Telecaster. Got it, got it for my 40th birthday. Um, outstanding guitar. Pickups. I'll come to that in a minute. The neck's beautiful, it just, it's all rolled edges, the body's lovely, really comfortable, you can, it's got, it's got the V-Mod 2 pickups in it, the humbuckers, um, I think the shawbuckers, and you can split them as well. Um, there's one major problem that I find with them is that the feedback, like nobody's business, um, they're very microphonic. So any sort of high gain situation, um, it just it squeals city, you know. So now I've done this before, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna wax pot the pickups. So that's a guitar. Um, it's a great guitar. I mean, I love the sunburst. It's stunning. But um, I need to fix those pickups. It's I'm a bit worried it's going to completely change the characteristic. Well, I, I do. I have done my research and it does apparently drop some of the, it does, you do lose some of the, um, the high end, but um, apparently, but um, it's just something I need I need to do, I think, because the feedback squeal situation is, you know, I have to turn the tone pot way down and roll all the high end off to stop it from squealing. Um, so if I'm doing like feedback stuff, I've gone up to the amp and, you know, it just, it's quite hard to do without, without it going crazy. So, I'm just going to go for it. So, I'm going to wax pot them and I'll show you the process. Um, I'll show you the process. So, let's see how it goes. So, guys, I've got my pot, I've got my wax. It's about 50 50 paraffin beeswax. Um, paraffin wax is flammable, so make sure that the place is well ventilated. I've got the lid for the wax jar suspending the wax uh, off the pot. I don't want the glass jar with the wax touching the bottom of the pot as it's heating up and I don't want it to have the pickups touching anything either. I just want to mention that um, this is an induction hob and the, uh, if anyone knows how induction hobs work it's probably not good for pickups. Um, so, so once I get the temperature up to the required um, 60 degrees I'll turn the cooker off to wax pot the pickups so you're probably looking to get the heat to about 60 degrees Celsius or 140 Fahrenheit don't let it get any higher than that um, or you could damage the bobbins in the pickup so I've, I've got this obviously being Covid I've got a head thermometer which does surface temperature so I'm going to give that a go and um, here's my pickups I've sort of made a little contraption here I've got a little metal rod um, I've tied a bit of wire around one of the pickups and attached it to the hookup wire of the pickup to make a little little loop so I can suspend it so I don't want the pickups touching the bottom of the wax bowl they need to be sus I want it suspended in the wax as I said again they want it up to 60 degrees but I discovered that this this uh, thermometer won't go any higher than I think whatever it is it won't read 60 degrees Celsius it's just off its scale it just tells you that the it's high and that's it so I've got this lab thermometer um, that my wife my wife asked me to order a thermometer during COVID for taking temperature and I ended up ordering a lab thermometer and she wasn't very happy about that but I got to use it for I knew I would need it for waxing pickups at some point so I kept it because I had a jam thermometer which got damaged so I'm using this lab thermometer um, and I, as I said it's 60 degrees um, Celsius, which is 140 Fahrenheit. Um, I'm just checking the conversion here. So I'm just letting this heat up slowly. I've got it 
kind of medium to high heat. I don't want to heat it up too quickly. I don't want to damage the glass bowl or the jar, whatever you want to call it. So as again, I'm just letting it heat up slowly. You you might see the wax start to melt around the edge um, of the bowl. So it's kind of bubbling nicely now. Um, you can see the wax is starting to melt quite a bit. This does take some time, so just be patient. Um, I've got my thermometer in now, just keeping a, an eye on the temperature. It does get up to about 70 degrees Celsius, around about 70, 75. And then once it's all melted, you can kill the, kill the cooker. So that's the wax all melted. Um, I've let it cool down to 60 degrees and that's just dump the pickups in. Um, bubbles will start to come out the pickups as the pickups moves the air, as the wax, sorry, moves the air out of the pickups. So the air basically gets replaced by wax. Um, I've got it suspended in there. So as you can see, the wax has solidified around the case of the pickup because the case is obviously cold. You dump it in the wax and the wax will solidify, but if you leave it leave it long enough, that solidified wax will turn into liquid again. So as you can zoom in here and you'll you see it's starting to you see how white it is. Um and you'll see it slowly but surely it'll begin to clear up as the wax begins to melt. you also notice um, air bubbles coming out the pickup. Um, once, the, once they have stopped, you know, you know the uh, pickup's fully potted. And the thermometer in here, um, checking the temperature. Bed this clip up here and you'll see the wax is beginning to um, become a liquid again as the, as the pickup case is heating up. So it's been in there for a good 10, 10 to 15 minutes now. Um, that's probably enough. That's as long as you need, I would say. Um, you can probably get ready to start taking this pickup up out now. Can't see any more bubbles coming, so let's get the pickup out. Get it quickly onto your paper towel. Try and keep it flat so the wax doesn't pour out. So while it's still hot, you want to clear all the excess wax off the pickup. Um, because it's a lot harder to do it once it's cooled. Much easier to do it when it's a, a liquid. So getting that all cleaned off, get your paper towel on there, clean all the excess off. And then just once you've got the excess off, just leave it to cool. And I've, as far as I remember, you know, the temperature dropped down to about 55 degrees, so As you can see, just cleaning the excess off. Getting it all off. So, uh, again, you don't want to wait till later when it cools. Um, it'll be a lot harder to get it off later. And it, it's just a mess as well. It'll be a mess of wax everywhere. Flaking wax. So I'm just going to stick it on a plate. Move it out the road. Stick it on a cold plate. Um, I run the plate under the cold under my cold tap, under the sink, and dried it off. So just to try and cool the pickup down. So once that's done, you can move it out of the road, and then we'll get ready to move on to the next pickup. As you can see there, you can see the wax is all nice and filled in there. Um, I think hopefully some of the wax might hold those wires in place as well. Um, stop them from moving, they potentially could cause microphonics. I mean, I'd, I'd say potentially. So one thing I did notice, um, the pickup was much heavier uh, once the wax had filled up uh, the space. So guys, got my temperature up to 60 degrees again. Getting ready to uh, dump the next pickup into the wax.
Again, don't go any higher than 60 degrees Celsius or 140 Fahrenheit. So sticking the next pick up into the wax, dumping it in. Again, keep it straight and you can see all the air bubbles um, coming out there. So try and keep it as straight as possible, keep it suspended, don't let it touch the bottom. So let's just leave it again. Again, the, the wax will solidify around the pickup. Once it's, again, once the pickup is up to heat, um, warmed up, the, the wax will melt again. I mean, the wax stays very, even with the, with the cooker off, the, the wax stays really warm. Um, so I'm just making sure it's flat and then out it comes. That one was ready. That was another, say, again, that was another 10, 15 minutes. Wipe all your excess off. So a lot of wax did actually come out of this pickup, um, out of the pole piece holes. Um, once I uh, once I got it dried off, cooled, it seemed to be fine though. So guys, that was it. Very easy. I mean, anybody can do this. If, as long as you've got a little bit of common sense, uh, anybody can do this. So that's it guys, job done. Pickups all potted. Um, had the guitar down in the studio. Um, had the amp blasting. Um, absolutely no feedback, no microphonics. Can't sing through the guitar anymore. Um, so really chuffed. As I said, anybody can do this. Um, a little bit of common sense. Really easy. Anybody, if you've got any pickups that are too microphonic, causing you feedback issues, that's all you need to do. Very easy. So until next time, guys. I'll see you again in another few months, maybe. <laughs> I'll try and get some more content up soon, but um, thanks very much. Take care.